How much more can I take? I need rest, I need God, I need space Another dead in the street, need a break A tear rolled down my eye from the pain From the pain Cause we been fighting demons They don't understand, no They don't need us Bodies on the damn floor Leave us bleeding Damn, I hate to see you go For no reason It's another casket closed What's up YouTube, back at it with another gun review today, and today I have the Glock 19 Gen 5, let's hop right into it. So as you all know, before anything, safety check comes first. As you see, it's been cleared, I do not have anything in the slide or in the barrel, nothing at all. As you see, here's the Glock 19 Gen 5. This is my EDC right now, this is a wonderful gun. Look at that slide, let y'all see the details on it. Thing. It's a wonderful gun. As you know, this is different from the Gen 4 and lower models because it, it does not have the finger grooves. It's just a flat grip. I love that. It feels amazing in your hand. And me, I have big hands, and this is the perfect size gun. Uh, it's not too small and it's not too big. I feel like the Glock 17, in my opinion, is too big to con try to conceal carry because even when this barrel is in your waistband, the grip still sticks out. So if you have that 17 or, you know, 21 or any full size model, it can get tricky and uh, easier, harder to conceal, especially uh, in the summertime. But the Glock 26 is nice as well in any of the sub subcompacts, but this is the perfect medium you know, from the size of the gun or anything. Perfect size gun. Um, home defense, wonderful. You could put a 50 round drum on it. You could put a 33 round factory Glock magazines or the drum. You can get a factory one. They even make a clip that holds like 51 bullets factory from Glock. So it's, it's just so many modifications and customizations you can do. You can even have your flashlight or your red light dot laser um, you can get one that you can put a scope on the mos so the sky is the limit with the glocks i love glocks the best you know they can surprise me you know but let me know what you think about that gen 5 some people don't like the gen 5 some people like the finger rules so they would rather have a gen 4 or a gen 3 uh, shooting wise i feel like Probably won't believe this because these have new barrels in them, all new barrels in them, but the Gen 3 shoots the best, in my opinion. The Gen 3 definitely shoots the most accurate. I don't know what it is about that barrel setup and the recoil on it, but it's phenomenal. Um, I don't have any complaints. So even though I don't like the looks of the Gen 3 the best, to me, that, that model shoots the best. Um, I've also owned a Glock 21 full size. That's the full size, but it's a 45. And I still like shooting this. So even though the 45 ACP is more powerful, I feel very comfortable, you know, having to use this in any situation. I know it's gonna get the job done. I like it because with the nine, it's not too small of a caliber and it's not too big of a caliber. So. It should be pretty easy for you to stay on target. And even at a distance, you don't have to be worried about that because it's going to do what you need to do. It can get tricky with guns like 357 Sigs, 10 mil. Those can get tricky if you really don't know what you're doing. I give this gun a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've even thought about getting a, a 19C, which is the compensated model where... The barrel has two holes in it and you see you can see fire just coming out the top i've thought about getting that too but then i'm like hmm do i really want to get another 19 9 millimeter like I, I don't know it's not to say i won't ever do it but that is cool uh how the 19c is um 
do I, as far as feeling like I have enough firepower, I definitely do. Um, I have spare mags and, you know, bigger mags. So I really don't trip. I don't have to worry about capacity with this gun because I have the capacity. Um, yeah, and I carry good ammo. So I'm really not worried the fact that I'm only carrying a nine. Some people go, oh, you need a 40, you need a 357C, you need this, you need that. But the nine will get the job done. Does it do it the best? Who knows? But will it do it? Yes, it'll absolutely do what you need to do. Um, so don't ever worry about that. Uh, if you have big hands, you should be fine. My hands are pretty big, and I don't have a problem with this mid-size gun. It's the perfect all-around gun to me. This is the perfect one. Self-defense, home defense, both. I would definitely recommend this for anybody. And especially if you're getting your first firearm, this is the one right here. To me, this is like the most universal popular gun in the world. The Glock 19 Gen 5. The only one that's even close is a Glock 17. Those two go hand in hand. Those two are the most popular guns, handguns in the world. Global, nationwide. Those are, you know, international. <laughs> Wherever you can have guns. The Glock 19 and the Glock 17 are the two most popular handguns. So know that. So I've, I've owned multiple. I, I've had Gen 3s, I have Gen 4s, and I have Gen 5s. But this, by far, is the best Gen. Look at that texture. Get the slide. Now, you see, I didn't have my hands all on it, so it's a little, that's the prints on it. And you can, it also comes with these back straps, three back, back straps in the case, and it came with three mags. So let me know what y'all think on, on that Gen 5. Do you like it? What do you think? If you're in the, if you don't know what you want, I would suggest you, especially if like, if this is your first Glock, go hold a Glock 26, hold this Glock 19 and hold a 17 and see which one you like the best. Uh, I thought I would like a subcompact, but I really don't. It's so small, but even though it's so small, a subcompact will be perfect for a second gun to have on you. So, and plus it, it, it really doesn't print, so you could have it on you tuck. Now, if you think the Glock 26 is too small, I would recommend a Glock 43X, which is the perfect size between a Glock 26 and a Glock 19. It's right in between there, it's perfect. Uh, which I may end up getting one of those. And I also like the Hellcat which I, I want a Hellcat, so it don't go hand in hand. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I will put more handgun videos I did in the description, so check those out if you get a chance. I'm out.